it is good uh, for this. So let's see about something for this model. This is the connectivity of the fiber. This is four Ethernet ports, two telephone ports, one TV port, and the power input. It is also a UPS with this. So, so that services can be kept continuously on in the two indications. So we have the indications power test fiber TV data phone. The other three are the services, TV service, data service and phone service, and the upper one is the connectivity lamps. Power should be on, then a fiber connectivity is okay, fiber lamp should be glowing. If you have taken any one of the service, then this corresponding lamp should be continuously glowing. Right now the data lamp is fluctuating, means configuration is not proper. So let's come to the system and configure. Any by default IP address of the modem which comes with the system is 192.168.1.1. Further, after logging in the modem, you can change it or you can keep it as it is. The changes can be done if you need to make the system compatible with your internal or old running systems like IPSH or any Wi Fi routers. So, we will log it 511 because we have already changed the IP to 11. Username is RWP root. Password is admin. Come to this panel. There are four options status, network, advanced, and maintenance. Status shows device status and when connectivity status. Device status is simply equipment ID, hardware version, software version, build date, make, address, current time, etc. When status, type of internet connections, PPPOE connections, status connecting. IP mask, gateway, DNS, etc. When it will get connected, it will show all the details. So let's come to the network feature. Here is the LAN settings. You can change the settings like IP of the modem. Initially it was 251, but we modified it. We have modified it for our convenience to 11. Okay. Apply it changes the services come to the main service here is the PPPV you need to enter the username like this initial two letters STD code with telephone number at the rate ftdh.dsnm.in password is simply the spelling of the password or of any else which is provided by your DSP okay then you will apply this and refresh it, it will get connected. And you will see Services for providing services use for CCTV cameras, drivers, for DMJ host, and generally it may be required to disable for DMJ host. Okay, I will for web access from WAN or LAN. So, as per your, if you want security, you can enable it. If you want unsecured network, but. Working. So then you 